and this energy is shuffling through and they're making their way as soon as the the shadow period of the capricorn moon hits oh expect destruction expect chaos expect karma expect people to get it back in blood okay because at the end of the day at the end of the day the things that people have done to you when you didn't do nothing to them is crazy it's crazy the thing the way this person this karmic individual was willing to put their whole entire family and bloodline on the line just for a piece of dick to stay with them for life it's crazy god ordained two people to be together and here this karmic coming yeah you know what i think i'm gonna play god i think i'm gonna pull the strings over here and i'm gonna pull this you know it's a lot going on and eat this okay mm. some pretty heavy stuff are y'all ready y'all ready for the collective message it's some pretty heavy stuff you know i don't know if there are any if you have any capricorn placements in your charts anybody in the comments but there's something going on in the ether. So I'm going to get into my collective message. And for those of you who are new here, I channel these messages beforehand. I channel them in various ways, okay? Spirit speaks to me, gives me these messages, shows me these things. And then when I am allowed to, I share them, okay? So um, it's been kind of crazy, these last few weeks all right um since the sagittarius moon okay it's been wild wild as hell crazy okay um there's a lot of energy of death in the air no lie okay um in a lot of ways like physical death all right and if you're squeamish about that kind of thing i suggest you click off now because I'm a different type of reader, okay? Um, so, let's just say karma is rearing her ugly head. And there's a lot of things where the devil is coming to collect, okay? And I know this may sound harsh for some of you guys, right, who are new here. But this is what my readings, this is how my readings be looking. I see a lot of crazy things, okay? Um... And basically, somebody in the collective here, or a few of you in the collective, whoever it's for, um, have been dealing with a lot of spiritual warfare, okay? Maybe you're not dealing with this spiritual warfare anymore because this is past tense, gratitude, see? But you know that tarot is timeless, so these messages are timeless. Whenever you hear it, it's for you, okay? So... I just need y'all to know, for any of you guys that have been thinking, when is this person going to get their karma? When is this person going to reap what they sow? When are they going to do whatever? Oh, it's coming. And it's coming right around the Capricorn moon. Okay, if you guys didn't know, the Capricorn, Capricorn signs are cardinal signs. And so they rule karma. Okay, and so with this Capricorn moon coming up, there's a lot of things that are going to um gratitude guys there's a lot of things that are going to be cut off like people's lights are going to be cut off meaning their eyesight meaning their life support meaning whatever connection they had to you um doing you dirty and doing you harm is going to be cut off people are going to be seeing exactly what they've done to you right in their face okay a lot of people over this past year have been committing some serious spiritual crimes. Serious. Yes, Serenity, this is a collective. A lot of people over the past year has been committing some serious spiritual crimes.
crimes, okay? Meaning, there has been people in the collective that has been doing witchcraft against divine feminines, against divine masculines, and for no reason at all other than jealousy, for no reason other than wanting to keep a man or a woman, for no reason other than a lie, okay? Um, there have been people working, working, doing workings on individuals who are innocent individuals, who have nothing to do with strife in their life, okay? These people are sick individuals, okay? I need you to understand something. There's been a, there's been a, a, a theme here, okay? There's been a theme of the divine masculine and divine feminine coming together. However, them being in separation due to a karmic individual, okay? This can be a karmic masculine or this can be a karmic feminine, okay? Flip the roles as they reverse. He can be a she, she can be a him, okay? Now, this is a, a past life union. This is a God-ordained union, okay? And now, there has been a karmic that has been contracted to get in the way every lifetime between this divine masculine and this divine feminine. In this lifetime, this karmic individual has done so much spell work on the divine masculine without his knowledge so that she can kind of have like a leash on him, okay? Um, to determine wherever he goes to see through his eyes when he are when he's with anyone outside of her to basically control him it's like dominion magic okay um and if this is your person or if there's anybody in the collective that you know that there's a person out there your twin flame your your soulmate a divine counterpart that you know that you're supposed to be with but instead there's somebody in the way that is controlling them, that is manipulative, that is, that is conniving, that is facetious, right? Um, this message is for you, okay? Um, yeah, so let's get into it, guys. Hey, guys, what's up? It's your girl, Nibiru Bomani. Uh, welcome to uh, Tarot Redefined by Human Design. This is the prophetess, okay? If you don't know what human design is, I suggest you go take a look at Google. All right, everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. Um, this is a collective reading for whoever it's for. If the roles fit, it fit. If it doesn't, don't try to make it fit, okay? Um, watch, listen, and practice tarot responsibly, okay? I am not God. The cards are not God. So, in turn, the messages you hear here, please discern them with your spirit, okay? Make sure they're for you. All right. Don't try to make anything fit. Don't try to claim anything that doesn't belong to you. That's okay. Whatever fits, whatever aligns is for you. All right. Again, this message is for whoever it's for. Okay. I'm going to say this one more time. Um, I channel messages here. The spirit speaks through me, shows me messages in various different ways. Okay. Um, I channel a little bit different than other people. All right. These messages are already channeled they're just written down right when the spirit asks me to speak about them that is when i am given the go ahead to then share them with you guys and then i'll come on here and confirm with the cards okay um now as you guys heard you know what this message is about some bullshit between a divine feminine a divine masculine and a karmic a dusty karmic getting in the middle okay um Y'all gotta bear with me because this is a deep message, all right? There is a, there is a, man, this is some crazy shit, bro. There is a, what's up where the auntie's at? There is a karmic female, I'm calling that. A karmic female that is so nasty. That is her spirit nasty. Her, her, her fucking vibe is nasty. Everything about her is nasty. Okay? And this could be a man in feminine energy. Flip the roles as they reverse. 
but the shit nasty okay i mean like this person's disturbed like really like oh if if i can't have him nobody can type of shit you know what i mean the lengths that this karmic female is going to to keep this man on a leash this divine feminine this divine masculine on a leash is wild without his consent by the way without his consent okay this karmic individual could even have children with this person right but i don't know if you guys ever seen that movie um what's that movie swarm where that girl was just disturbed like she was disturbed she was just doing all kinds of things she was turning into different people at the end of the movie she turned into a stud then she turned into a a psycho stalker then she was a stripper then she, <laughs> she was doing all kinds of things right and i'm just like what is wrong with this child you know what i mean this is what is giving this karmic female is really is really loose loose up here looser than the goose like got a wrap around that divine feminine that divine masculine neck right got a got a wrap around his neck right she is fucking doing spell work on him without his knowledge you know and has been doing it for a very long time and honestly i feel like it's through the food through the food through the intercourse but mostly through the food right now this message is gonna get pretty deep all right so again if you guys are squeamish at all please click off but as you guys know i channel through dreams and so i see that the divine masculine and the divine feminine um i see the divine masculine and the divine feminine having a good time right i seen you guys having a good time enjoying each other's company hanging out da, 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 da. and i'm seeing this going on for like at least six months okay and so you could have met this person on a chance like on a whim right and you felt really connected with this person you felt really what's up jen you felt really connected with this person. You felt like the vibes was... You was even having a telepathy moments with this person. Like, this person felt like a twin flame energy, right? But I'm getting you guys only knew each other for about six months. Because in the dream, I'm seeing two people just enjoying each other's company. Hanging out. Going out, vibing. The person's nice to you. You nice to them. It's, it's Y'all kicking it, right? All of a sudden, things change. Things change. This person asks you, do you want to move in, right? And you say, move in? Six months. But the connection is so deep that you've never had a connection like that or you've never felt anything like that. And so you say, okay, you know, right? Now, this doesn't have to be a physical move in. Keep that in mind. Messages are not so messages are not so so literal sometimes so when i'm talking about moving in when you see dreams and it, and it says something very literal like that it's not always that literal sometimes it's like do you want to be my girlfriend or do you want to be like do you want to do some sort of commitment type of vibe so you you could have committed to this person in the first six months you know what i mean something serious could have happened where y'all could have bought each other promise rings or you could have moved in together you know what i mean either or place it as a reverse right now you show up at your divine masculine's house right in the dream and your divine masculine doesn't open the door you know who opens the door a woman <laughs> a woman opens the door right a tall brown skinned woman right now don't pay too much to the to the features pay attention to the energy it's a feminine energy right opens the door and for those of you who are spiritually inclined and spiritually inquisitive you know something's not right about this situation and you're like wondering where your divine masculine went right am i at the right house is what some of you were saying am i did i ring the right bell okay 
where am I? Okay. <laughs> you let yourself in. Turns out your divine, it's almost like, you know how dreams switch. It's almost like your divine masculine is in this feminine's body. It's going to come together. It's going to come together. Stick with me now. Stick with me. All right. And now you stay quiet because you want to see how this play out. Right. So I'm watching what's going on. Right. And I'm seeing this divine, this divine feminine, which is you and this other karmic feminine, this other karmic feminine. Just, hey, welcome. Hey, babe. Welcome. Da, 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 da. I'm so happy you're here. Blah, blah, blah. And you're just like. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. And you just, you know, you go with the flow. You see how it go. You know what I mean? And I'm seeing the divine feminine's mind working like, I don't like girls. Why am I here? Who is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't like girls. What's going on? Like, you know, what's tea? And you sit there. And you let it marinate and you see what's going on. So you end up getting to know this woman that is supposed to be your divine masculine. Because now the energies have traded places. So it's showing up as a feminine. But this is supposed to be the person you've been spending six months with. Right? They ask you to move in. Keep up with me. Stick with me. Now you seeing the vibe. And the vibe is a little different. You're like, hmm, this don't really seem like my person though. My person's a little bit rigid. If this is the same person, why are they so rigid? Why are they so cold a little bit? So, again, after the six months where you guys solidified this connection, this person could have changed towards you. They could have started to have, like, a coldness towards you. Like, a, um, like treating you funny. You know what I mean? Like, the six months could have been great. But as soon as you guys solidified it or as soon as you guys had intercourse or as soon as you guys have had playtime you know things started to shift you know what i mean and this person was acting rigid with you and they were acting cold and they were acting like they don't really know you or they don't really f what you like that it was really odd it just happened out of nowhere right now in the dream the karmic was doing this to you who is supposed to be your d your dm in, in disguise right doing this right and so you're just observing. See, what's was, was, was he, right? Now, you can't get with it, though. It's not the same. You're trying, to, you're trying to wait till the person's original identity comes back, but it's not coming back. You're like, where's my person? This is not the person I was with. So you, you're trying to be patient. You're trying to, you're trying to observe this, this feminine that is, that is now your, your divine masculine in disguise. In disguise. And you're trying to be patient to see if he will come back. And now you're realizing and he ain't coming back. <laughs> he ain't coming back. That, that person that you was with in the beginning is not coming back. Right? You got this person now. And this person is a feminine energy that is supposed to be disguised as a DF, as a DM. Okay? Now, you in this house and you move in and this... This feminine energy keeps walking around, observing you, asking you what you want, but very rigid, very cold. Now, in the dream, you stayed home a lot. You didn't go out. So this person, this woman, would leave all the time for work, right? Now, there was something going on with some sort of appliances in the kitchen, right? And you were thinking in your head, you felt trapped. So some of you could have felt even trapped with this divine masculine or divine feminine flip the roles as they reverse you could have felt trapped meaning you got duped like this is not the person that i signed up to be with you know what i mean like what's going on like you know and so in the dream you're inside this apartment feeling trapped feeling like you can't leave but also feeling like you're being watched okay and you call your your person on the phone and you say hey something's wrong with the kitchen something's wrong in the kitchen etc etc and they say oh i know i know it is and then you're like how do you know how, how do you know something's wrong you're not even here you're at work and they're like because i've been watching you <laughs> come to find out this big ass this big ass fucking 
what the fuck? Like a like a soccer ball size uh, camera rises up from the floor with a big ass eyeball, like a seraphim eyeball, right? And it's blinking blue lights at you, right? And it's the first time you ever seen this camera in this house. It's a big ass camera just floating around like we in, in Japan technology, okay? <laughs> it sounds funny, but it's true. Now, you didn't know that this person was watching you every time they went to work. This person was watching you. Yeah, you. this person was watching you every time you went to work, right? And you're like, hold on. Why was you watching me? Da, 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 da. I didn't know you was watching me, et cetera, et cetera. So they start a fight with you. And you're like, this is not what I, this is not what I signed up for. This is not what it, what it's supposed to be. This is, you're a fake. You're a flunky. Like, you, you lied to me. You duped me. Like, you're a manipulator. Like, I don't know you. Like, I've had enough. You know what I mean? You're spying on me. You're trying to control me. You're doing weird things. Who the fuck are you? Right? So in the dream, you say, who are you? Right? So they come home and you tell them, who are you? You give them a piece of your mind. And they turn into a... A demonic entity as soon as you ask them who they are they reveal their true selves right and I want you to understand what's happening here collective what's happening here is your original divine masculine was himself for a time okay but he had roots put on him by his karmic feminine so if he wasn't with her anymore he would never find love anymore he would never find happiness and she would always be able to see what he's doing who he's with and control him to turn into whatever she wants him to turn into to turn off the divine feminine so that they can break up this god ordained connection Okay, so if you guys have went through this kind of thing, where was your divine masculine turned into somebody you ain't even know? This is because this person had roots put on them, had spell work put on them, and this was because this this karmic individual was so nasty. I told you this person nasty. They nasty, they ruthless, they, 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 they everything you could ever think. Because who does this type of, who does this type of shit? Who does this? Desperate people. Evil individuals. They don't care about you. you know, they don't care about their kids. They don't care about their family. They don't care about none of that. Because they doing things to, to literally chain somebody's free will up so that they can control them. And so that divine masculine started acting funny towards you because that, that, that karmic feminine was pulling the strings inside of his head. Okay? So when a lot of times you guys could have been with your divine masculine and you would have noticed that maybe like he would take calls, like go off to the side and take calls, go off to wherever like his phone would ring a lot or maybe he would put his his phone down or something like but a lot of this time is because the the karmic feminine was watching him okay and this is a karmic feminine that has children with this person and so this person try to insert themselves in their life all the time it's like they can never have a girlfriend outside of the the baby mom's type of situation you know um it can never be successful or something and this is this is the way she set it up this is the way she set it up because it's like again if you can, if i can't have him nobody can okay and the reason this is relevant is because there's a capricorn moon coming and i also was shown a i don't like to say these entities names out loud because i just feel like they be spying you know they they nosy just like us so they be trying to spy so they be like who you said who you rang let me see what you're talking about. That's what they do. Okay. 
even and you ain't got to conjure them up. They just nosy. They'd be like, you rang? Oh, I'm here. What are you saying about me? <laughs> so I don't like to say these names, but um, there is an entity that I saw shuffling, making its way across the moon, across the sky. And this is the entity bearing the spirit of death. Okay. And so that is what he's known for bearing the spirit of death death and rebirth right um and the reason this is relevant is because like i said earlier capricorn is the you know sign of karma so um this karmic individual is going to be receiving some sort of karma in the next coming weeks in the month of june okay i don't know if this is going to be close to them this could be them you know getting or this could be someone close to them getting, you know what I mean? Um, but it's definitely bringing the energy of death, okay? This spirit is moving very slowly with a very intense shuffling, okay? Trust me, trust me. They're moving, and they're moving in on somebody, right? And then if you guys remember, I did a reading like a couple weeks ago about a car crash, this car crash is very significant still, okay? White cars, white vans, white SUVs, okay? If you know anybody with this type of car, you know what I mean? Understand that there's an energy around that accident, around that car, around that, okay? Damn, Serenity. I'm telling you, it's something thick in the air around car accidents car crashes etc and this energy is shuffling through and they're making their way as soon as the the shadow period of the capricorn moon hits oh expect destruction expect chaos expect karma expect people to get it back in blood okay because at the end of the day at the end of the day the things that people have done to you when you didn't do nothing to them is crazy. It's crazy. The thing, the way this person, this karmic individual was, was willing to put their whole entire family and bloodline on the line just for a piece of dick to stay with them for life. It's crazy. God ordained two people to be together. And hear this karmic coming. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to play God. I think I'm going to pull the strings over here and I'm going to pull the strings over here. For however long I want to. Because I'm a desperate hoe. And that's why I said this girl is, is, is disgusting to me. This energy is disgusting to me. This, this, this karmic energy is very nasty. Like, they remind me of those type of women that just be so pressed. And like, even though a person don't want you no more, you be trying to do spells on them. You be trying to put their heart in a jar, put the, like, why? That's not going to make the person love you. What does that do for you? Like, you know what I mean? What does that do for you? You know what I mean? So anyways, this person's disgusting. I don't like them and they're going to get everything they deserve. They're going to get everything they deserve. No lie. Because they shouldn't never fuck with this car, this divine masculine's free will. They shouldn't never mess with this divine union. This divine collective, divine feminines, you know. This was your person that you were supposed to be with, that you were supposed to connect with. And this karmic baby mama, karmic whatever, got in the middle and started fucking with y'all energy mainly his because his is is like a lower frequency than yours and so this this person had been been worked on for for a long time with this woman you know she's nasty she's a nasty piece of work and she gonna get everything she deserves ashe yeah ashe let's get into this reading now let's see let's confirm these things spirit please um, cover me, protect me, and the collective, okay? Please allow me to hear the messages clearly and precisely. Any hijacking spirits, 
meaning to disrupt this reading and sway this reading. Please send them back to hell, Ashe. All right, let's see. Tap the screen for me, guys, please. Gratitude for the love. Gratitude where the auntie's at. <laughs> okay. Here we go. on the bottom of the deck hydra here go these snakes again for those of you who was in my reading who was in my reading a couple couple weeks back here go these snakes again battling these water snakes you see that okay it's hydra okay it talks about regeneration all right what we got here on out on the table hello hello johnson we got selkie out here okay you see how Selkie is in it. This is this is a um this is a seal with a woman inside. You see that? Okay. The story of the Selkie talks about freedom. Alright, I'm gonna explain it to you real quick. Selkie is half woman, half seal. Okay. She lives in the water, in the water kingdom. Okay? Um, and one day she traveled to land when she traveled to land beautiful she could shed her skin she could shed her her seal skin and be a woman it's almost like how mermaids do and she could walk around and enjoy you know the lands whatever and then she goes back and puts her skin back on and she goes back home to the water because that's her home that's her divine home she's a divine water being okay however one day, Selkie loses her, her skin, and she has to stay on land as a woman. Now, this man comes out of nowhere and scoops her up. He thinks she's beautiful. He thinks she's cool. He thinks whatever, you know, um, and he marries her. But she's sad, and she's sad for a very long time because she feels trapped on this earth because this is not her home, Okay. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because eventually the Selkie finds her skin again and she goes back home. Okay. This card represents freedom, her finding her way back to her original form. Okay. Um, after being trapped with this man. All right. The reason why this is important is because some of you guys, some of my divine feminines, um, when you met this person, right? Uh, again, there was a feeling. There was a feeling of feeling trapped, meaning this spell work that this person was doing against this karmic was doing against the divine masculine was affecting you in some sort of way. So again, when you met this person, things started moving a little different in your life. You started feeling enclosed. You started feeling like things weren't happening for you. You started feeling like things were starting to move a little slow in your life, like money wasn't coming in etc etc so you started to feel trapped inside of your situation usually a very lucky person right usually right um life stopped with them exactly you guys could have felt like that okay like you were trapped right and and this is not normal situations for divine feminines okay you guys are very fertile so you attract a lot of wealth you attract a lot of abundance you attract a lot of things and you're you're great transmuters of energy and alchemizing things so you don't often go through these types of adversities and these types of things where in which it blocks your material possessions and it blocks your love life and it blocks a lot of things but you didn't know where this was coming from and you wanted to be free of it and you didn't realize that the work that was being done against your divine masculine was also being done to you at the same time because that's the way the karmic wrote it okay so while she was fucking with him she was fucking with you too at the same time all right this energy was transferring to you okay 
So this is, a, again, you guys were seeking freedom. You guys may have be, even been depressed during this time. Okay. And again, flip the roles as they reverse. He could be a she, she could be a he. Okay. Um, you know, just read it how it applies to you. All right. So you guys were seeking heavy freedom. Okay. You were just like the Selkie. Eventually, you guys found your way back to your bodies. You found your way back to your original skin. But you had to fight a lot of demons for this. You had to come up against this dark energy that this karmic was sending you. And you had to pow, 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 pow. Okay. You had to wash that ass. It was a spiritual battle. Okay. And you won. Clearly. Okay. But you was always going to win. But this, this karmic individual thought you were soft. They thought you wasn't really about that life, okay? They thought that they, they fuck with you just like they fucked with everybody else that this divine masculine used to mess with. But they, they mess with the wrong feminine because this is the feminine. You guys are the feminine that is, is, is highly ranked. They, they mess with the wrong one. You was the karma for this person. Sometimes... We come into people's lives, and because of where you stand spiritually, you will wonder why you keep meeting such horrible people and such people who mean to do you dirty and all this stuff. Sometimes the spirit uses you as people's karma because they, they keep doing it to people that's not really, you know, tapped in. So they think they're getting away with it. They do it for people, do it to people for six months, a year, three years, two years. And then all of a sudden, here come you, a divine feminine with a lot of rank, with a lot, with a lot of favor over your life. And this person want to do it to you? Oh, but when things happen to you from other people, usually people catch really bad karma. You was this person's karma, okay? So I'm getting too, like, although this is a divine masculine's person that they were dealing with, this is your karmic that followed you into your, into, 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 into your life. So somebody, that happens too, right? So for instance, if you have a best friend, right? And your best friend has a sister, right? And you can't figure out why your your best friend's sister always got a problem with you. And be trying to hurt you and be trying to do... It's because that bitch know you from somewhere. <laughs> she know you from somewhere. She be fucking with your, with your friend too. Because that's her sister. She just evil. But why she got a problem with you? Because that is your karmic from another lifetime. You probably whooped her ass back in the day. She probably whooped your ass back in the day. You probably killed her. Something could have happened. But she over there now. But she got it out for you. <laughs> and the same is happening in this situation. Where in which it's a divine union that needs to come together. But this karmic individual is holding it up. She don't like you from somewhere. And she definitely don't like this, this masculine. Because she been following y'all into lifetimes. Each lifetime trying to fuck y'all unions up. Okay. <laughs> really? It does? I'm glad. Um, so then we got the Kelpie, right? Kelpie. Now, let me read about Kelpie because, you know, I don't know too much about Kelpie. Kelpie ain't come up in this, in, in this Oracle deck yet. So let me read about them. Let's see. Kelpie talks about, what is this? A warning? Yeah. Kelpie talks about warning. Confirmation. A warning. All right. So we got freedom out here and then we got warning. All right. What, what warning is coming? Come on, man. Stop playing with me. There we go. We had to re we had to verify. You know how TikTok do. So let's see. What warning? I already know what warning is coming. This person finna get their karma. Let's see. Okay, so it says, whoo, warning, ignorance, okay? It says, if you are giving a warning, you should heed it. If someone shows you who they are, believe them. Understand your current limitations, yet extend your skills. Your intuition may be asking you to be aware of danger. Pay heed, okay? See, it says, one myth tells 
of a young woman being courted by a handsome young man. He always wears a nicely forged silver necklace and his hair is curly. It is so black and shiny it seems to have a sheen of water upon it. She suspects that his necklace while he sleeps when, he, when they are on picnic together she picks it up. He immediately trans, transforms into uh, it says in a queen form and she takes him back to her farm and has him work for her as a horse. <laughs> her anger at his dishonesty wears off. She misses her love. This is so interesting. <laughs> So basically, this this person, this Kelpie, originally a, a beautiful man who meets a woman, has a necklace, and she touches the necklace, and the necklace turns her person into a horse, okay? She feels deceived. Did I not just talk about deception? Okay. Um, the, the Kelpie transformed back into his human form. She asks the Kelpie whether he wishes to be with a young woman or go back to the water. The Kelpie says that he will stay with his human form and become mortal if she agrees to marry him. The young woman accepts him as her husband and the Kelpie stays in human form, giving up his immortality. Kelpies are also said to be able to transform into land creatures, including human forms. Okay, so this could be a shapeshifter that you're dealing with, okay? Your person could be a shapeshifter, like your actual divine masculine could be a shapeshifter. Um, but this is why I had this dream, like this shapeshifting energy is out here, okay? This person could have like some, some their karmic energy could have some, some, some shapeshifting abilities or put them on them, I don't know. Okay. But you see what I'm talking about? This talks about water land people not being in their original forms do you get what i'm saying like the selkie not in her original form lost her skin this kelpie not in his original form lost his gave up his humanity to be with this mortal woman okay and that's that's true okay a lot of things are happening here what i'm also seeing too here is that um this kelpie right here he gave up his immortal form to be with this young woman on land okay i'm seeing two things here when this masculine was roped back in by this karmic individual he gave up his freedom his serenity his peace with you to be with this karmic individual okay um he gave up his immortality and i'm getting that his immortality is with you why because this person felt immortal while they were with you in a sense of like peace transcending through times like you and this person was equally yoked like you guys could read each other's minds that's how much peace people aspire to have the type of connection that you had or maybe you've never experienced this before so it felt like a, a sense of immortality like you felt alive again okay and this person gave this up to be with this karmic individual why because they were under a spell but also they have free will so they they could have fought this they could have did they could they could have fought this but they didn't instead they went where they knew and they went back to toxicity okay um and that's just what it is this person made the wrong choice they gave up immortality to stay on land shackled to a woman shackled to a woman who, who who don't do right by them why because they think that love and abuse can coexist this person is probably a person who had a mother figure who was very um like mean wasn't very loving was cold was rigid and so when you came into their life it was almost like you're loving you're warm you're enticing you're peaceful you're calm you're alluring and this person rejected that because that's not what they know and so this karmic individual gives off the same vibe as their mother so it's a trauma bond on top of the fact that there's being spell work done against them and the spell work is sticking because of the trauma bond this this masculine is almost looking at this person like a like a surrogate mother figure it's 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 very weird okay so we got the knicks all right see the knicks there we go 
Next talks about darkness. All right. So let's see. Darkness. Okay, it says the darkness is necessary. It is a place of possibility and rest. It is natural, beneficial to experience. Not everything is unpleasant or evil, okay? It says the Nyx, her embodiment of the night is the goddess. She was the one of the primordial, primordial, the deities emerging at the very beginning of the universe. Her fathers were chaos and fangs of the coldest of gods. She fell in love with Acrabus and uh, created ether, okay? and Himera day Ooh, interesting hmm. okay so this is what I'm getting Nyx was seen as a evil dark entity you know why because she was created through chaos Nyx was created through chaos and through light okay she ended up being both duality okay now gratitude where the auntie's at she ended up being both okay now she was often seen as a dark being because of how she was created through chaos all right but she was both she was half light and half dark okay what i'm getting about this is that this karmic individual this karmic feminine literally wrote a story wrote a story about you divine feminines she wrote a story about you she said you was the worst see she said you was the darkest she said you was the coldest she said you was the evilest she said you was the everything this could be this could even be another tarot reader okay this could be somebody that is into divination but she has the power of persuasion she literally persuaded this divine feminine i mean this divine masculine into believing that you were all this chaos and darkness and everything because of the stuff that you were into okay so maybe you could have shared with this person that you know your beliefs and maybe your beliefs are unorthodox unorthodox mike says she lied on me that's what i'm getting to like there's a lot of lies that were told about the divine feminine and the divine masculine flip the roles as they reverse there's a lot of lies told about the divine feminine against to 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 the divine masculine to pit him against her to get him to see her in a light that she isn't okay and so basically she's like oh this person came from chaos this person is chaos this person is evil just like they thought nyx was nyx was not evil she's both light and dark okay she is a is a, is a neutral being okay she's the embodiment of uh, both duality okay both things at once okay they have fake accounts on social media that's terrible i'm sorry mike um that came up in a previous reading like people are getting watched right yeah, fake accusations. They're making up lies about the person. Saying that the person was a witch. Saying that they was a warlock. Saying that they was doing all kinds of things that they was, they was not doing. And this was really to evade away from herself. She's under, she don't want you to see that she, she's under the radar. She didn't, want, she didn't want you guys to be together. That karmic individual did not want this divine masculine and divine feminine to come together and change the course of nature because that's what would have happened you guys' love would have been so strong that it would have changed everything there's a big mission that these two individuals had to do right teach people self-love whatever it's something here about like waking up the collective like with love with true unconditional love like something special and this person really 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 wanted them to see the divine feminine as a evil wicked witch and the divine masculine being a wounded masculine from wounded feminine energy from his mother believed this hoe because she'd been around the longest okay yeah that's what happened yeah exactly there's healing yeah they wouldn't see it there's healing here 
you guys have healed. You guys have created your own home within you. You guys are different now, okay? And you guys have love within you, okay? This divine masculine is watching you, though, or divine feminine is watching you. Flip the roles as they reverse. Exactly. Um, Mike said they turned everyone against me. That's what this is giving. They turned everyone against your person, okay? And the divine feminine. They were both under attack by this karmic individual. Okay, but now I'm seeing here that the divine feminine is healing. Okay, the divine feminine is creating a home within herself. L again, like I said, what's up, Eve? Like I said, this divine feminine is very strong. It's very powerful. It's none of the things that, 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 that was being said about her. Okay, she fought tooth and nail. She's a warrior. That's why she lives. She lives, but she walks between the realm of the dead and the living. Okay, she embodies duality, so she knows how to navigate, transmute, and produce chaos energy, as well as produce love. This person really underestimated who, who she was dealing with, and now come this Capricorn moon, this entity finna struck, struck it, struck it, struck it, struck it. Struck it. Struck, 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 struck it. Yeah. This girl, I don't know what she finna do. But she finna pay. Okay? Yeah. They finna pay, collective. They finna pay. Okay? Yes, we are. I still have my days. Absolutely. You rise. Capricorn energy. Listen. Right. The God is in you. Period. That's what I love to hear. All right, let's 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 pull out this deck. Let's see what let's see what's going on out here. Let's see what this let's see let's see this the details of this story, okay? Yeah, that Capricorn moon is coming very soon. Expect a lot of you know what I mean, death energy. Things will die. People will die. Sorry to tell you. That's just what it is. People will pay too. That karma will be hitting somebody's ass. A couple people's asses. It will be waxing that ass. Look out for cars. Car accidents. Okay? White cars, preferably. White vans. Okay? Also, I'm getting that on that day, it's going to rain. Okay? It's going to rain very heavy. Okay? Let's see. Yeah, you gonna be protected. This person who did who did you dirty in the collective is not, because they did too much against a divine feminine and a divine masculine that that literally had no, um, no 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 say in this. I don't understand people who do spell work against people who are innocent. It's time to pay. Yeah. Let's see. Yes, Adam. Look. 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 The spirit don't lie. The spirit don't fucking lie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Already knowing the team. This person feels this death energy coming. Feel it. I'm telling you. They feel it. They feel it. It's a heart feeling. It's a heart feeling. It feels painful to them. They feel like a like a gloom coming. Something's in the ether. They feel it. Okay? Either this person's going to physically go or things in their life are going to physically transform in a negative way. Alright? Then we got out here watching shit go down. Okay? This is you, collective, watching shit go down. You already transmuted this energy. You already did what you did what you did what you came to do. All right. It says enjoying the gossip. All right. I'm telling you, a lot of people, a lot of y'all did think that y'all was gonna die. And then also, I need I need y'all to understand too. There's a lot of people in the collective that when you started dealing with this um with this divine feminine i mean not divine feminine this karmic energy a lot of you guys could have had a situation where in which somebody sent death to your door okay because earlier 
couple messages ago we had this divine this karmic individual out here um and they were sending death magic to you okay so they were not only causing your finances and your um your abundance to go awry um but they send death magic your way so you guys could have had encounters with like burglars encounters with like kidnappings encounters with like close calls like close call like weird freak shit like like weird freak shit like people following you in the street um stuff weird stuff like weird encounters i'm also getting something about somebody on your ring doorbell camera okay um threats weird threats like like freak stuff like stuff that don't normally happen to people you know so this was that deaf energy search circling you because you were dealing with this person right and they had a discarming individual in the background working on them because they had roots on them there was something going on in your energy where it was attracting a lot of demonic energy towards you a lot of demonic death energy that is no longer okay I said they poisoned me. I was at the hospital. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that, honey. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm, but I'm happy you're still here. You know what's crazy? In the last reading, we talked about how um, somebody had their drink poisoned by this, by this karmic. Okay? That's crazy. All right? That's wild. Yeah, they did fail. They're, they're, this was this this didn't go over well. Um, those of you were protected each time. Okay, this didn't go over well. Some of you threw this up. Throw some of this. Some of you were saved in the nick of time. Okay, but spirit wasn't gonna let nothing happen to y'all. I'm telling you that right now. Spirit ain't let nothing happen to y'all. This season is over for you, okay? Those of you who have went through this, it's over for you. It's over for you. Everything is eclipsing out. Come this Capricorn moon. I'm telling you right now. It's things being tied up in the in the in the in the ethers. It's it's fine. It, it's gonna be good. Trust me. It's not gonna be so good for your enemies though. Okay? Private relationships, okay. Exactly exactly e exactly um this person was sending you stuff and it wasn't sticking so if stuff don't stick when they send negativity towards you what's gonna happen it gotta go somewhere and it's going right the fuck back so that deaf energy that they were sending is going right the fuck back because it didn't stick it didn't work okay so we got a private relationship out here i don't know I just feel like this person tried to like maybe this person was keeping like a private relationship I feel like the private relationship that they thought they was having with this masculine was private because they was linked to them spiritually like they was doing work on them you know then we got red lipstick stains okay so this person could have like been using like um glamour magic okay in order to disguise themselves as you that's what i'm seeing here too yeah so when when you met this person and you guys were good and everything was cool and y'all was chilling da, 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 um this root that was put on this divine masculine um they swapped energies you get what i'm saying so somehow this the this karmic individual swapped energies with you like she was able to mask herself as your energy okay this this karmic individual i told you she's nasty she's a hoe and she do weird things because she she she's trying to keep somebody that don't want her okay and so what she does is she tries to take on the energy of the divine feminine she's not a divine feminine no divine feminines don't do stuff like this okay they don't gotta create all this kind of stuff all right things just come to them all right but what she does is she hides herself well she pretends she takes on the form this is what i was talking about earlier with shape shifting she takes on the form of whoever she's around in order to become that energy in order to speak like that in order to talk like that in order to embody that right and 
she convinced this masculine that he needs to come back to her because she's she's you you know what i mean then we have running away here so again divine masculines divine masculines in the collective you could have been running away with this person the the divine feminine maybe you and the divine feminine had plans to run away together and be together um but the moment that you guys were going to be alone okay um the moment you guys were to gonna be alone that she called on the phone and was like trying to drag you back or something that's what i'm seeing here okay yeah yeah that's what i'm seeing here yeah you could have told this person that you don't belong with this person you could have warned him about this this karmic feminine um again flip the roles as they reverse <laughs> if, if if you hear me talking about a feminine and you're not a feminine then you're a masculine flip the roles as they reverse okay that's how you read tarot so I might be saying it's a divine feminine, but he could be she, she could be a she could be a he. Oops. You know what I mean? So flip the rolls. What? That's terrible, Adam. That's the energy I'm getting here. She don't want you, she this karmic individual don't want y'all to be with nobody. But didn't want your person to be with nobody. Like didn't want your person to be with you. That's what it is. She wanna have you all to herself. This person don't have no <sighs> There you go, Mike. There you go. I love that. Um this person doesn't this person doesn't have any natural energy of their own okay so they have to steal everything they gotta steal people's energy they gotta steal people's essences they gotta steal people's destinies they gotta steal this is like a vampire energy okay all they do is stand next to people get people in their life and steal from them so they could surround themselves with a lot of people that are lucky a lot of people who have a lot of wealth a lot of people who have a lot of abundance because they cannot attract this shit on their own because they don't have that quality they don't have it all right and this is exactly why um this karmic individual merged herself with this divine masculine and probably even had kids with this person why because at the end of the day this was about um seeing this person's future okay so for a lot of you divine feminines your divine masculine um this karmic individual saw into their future she could have had some sort of tarot reading or some sort of divination done against them where she saw how lucky this person was or how favored they were or how you two when you came together how you were going to create wealth you were going to create something of substance and she wanted it for herself so she had to put a leash on him which witchcraft you know she couldn't let y'all be together not without me not without me she said if no one can have him then no one can <laughs> yeah you guys aren't even worried about this person anymore that's the crazy part <laughs> you guys aren't even worried it says peaceful parallel you see that peaceful parallel okay it's upside down okay it says harmony flows lives aligns basking in serene glow of peace and then it talks about moonlit you moonlit unity okay so remember earlier when i was talking about um that was her favorite saying wow not moonlit unity um peaceful parallel um i'm feeling like this person did a lot of things under the thank you mike i feel like this person this karmic did a lot of things under the moon and this is exactly why the next capricorn moon um is going to bring you a lot of peace i'm getting because things are finally going to die you know sometimes 
and this is just the way the shit works right um i'm sorry to hear that love i'm sorry to hear that that's tough um yeah that's definitely tough babes that's true that's true that's true um but yeah Ooh, this is getting deep. So this person knows that something's coming, like I said, but they don't know exactly what it is. I'm also getting to that this person's having nightmares, that their dreams are being haunted. Okay. They could be having haunting dreams at this time. Also, this person has lost all control over any gifts that they had. I'm also getting that the spirits that they were working with have abandoned them. Um, and for this reason, it's because it's time for them to pay. Okay. Hmm. Also, if this divine masculine is still with um, this karmic energy, there is storms happening. There are storms happening, storms of love. You see that? Are a lot of arguing, a lot of bickering, a lot of fighting. Um, and this is because honestly, when this happens to this divine, this this karmic individual, because um, something's gonna happen. I don't know exactly what it is, but something's gonna happen. I told you. Um, they don't want this divine masculine to be around in the vicinity, but also look at what it says growth guidance you see that while you're doing the healing work your divine masculine is also healing at the same time okay so so you don't even realize that when you do the work if you're if you're ordained to be with this person if you have a contract with this person in this lifetime um and you do the work on your end it's inadvertently through the ethers because of the contract allowing your person to wake up to slowly but surely okay and so your person is starting to see who this karmic individual really is like a psycho okay and i'm also seeing something too about a diary a journal somewhere where this karmic hides a lot of things like a grimoire okay like a spell book something where they have like spells that they've generated um and the masculine has found it and has found the inner thoughts of this karmic individual and the plans that they've had for the breaking up of your union and the plans that she's had to keep him by her side with whatever nasty antics she's done okay and this car this this masculine figure is out of here it's almost like they're looking at them in disgust. Like, how could you do something like this? How could you be this low? How could you be this disgusting? Why would you do something like this? Okay. Everything's coming out. Okay. It's coming out right now. This person's growing slowly but surely. Um, and they're starting to see this person for who they are. And they're leaving. They're leaving this person. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so then we have temporary relief here you see that you see how she has her head down this person could be drinking this person could be drinking smoking doing all kinds of stuff okay but they're messed up because the the divine masculine is leaving the divine masculine don't want nothing to do with them okay um yeah Mm -hmm. it says distractions aren't a quick fix for deeper issues this person's a messed up individual they have psychological issues okay mm -hmm. i need to look this up give me a second because i'm hearing something right now i need to i need to see what relevance this has Okay, so some of you guys could be, like, connected to, um, uh, 
the Egyptian scholar and priest Emotep. Um, he was a visor, or this person could be on your spiritual team, okay? Or you guys could have uh, Egyptian roots, meaning maybe you connect with Horus, or you connect with Anubis, or you connect with Emotep, or you feel that you have Egyptian roots, okay? This is for you, okay? Because I'm hearing that heavily, Emotep, okay? Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we have... Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. We have taming anger here. You see that? Taming anger. You see? Yeah, this person's losing their fucking shit. I'm telling you right now. They're losing their shit. It says, don't don't roar in arguments. Respect can heal wounds. This person don't know how to have no respect. They don't know how to have no respect. Okay. This person is losing their shit. Because no, the magic is not working no more. This divine masculine has risen to a certain level. Where in which he's healing. And so, it's not working anymore. And the divine feminine is already in her power or his power. And it's not working anymore. Okay. So they can't control anyone here. They can't control where this divine masculine goes. They can't control how much they hit. They they can't control anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. See? There you go, Adam. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing here. You guys could be heavily protected by Anubis. Um at this time anubis could be around you for um death and rebirth funeral rites so again this is that death energy coming in anubis really does not like does not like when you disrespect the dead and you disrespect the living he don't like it and so this individual this karmic individual was disrespecting the living why are you putting spell work, death magic, on innocent human beings? What, what, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Clearly not. Okay, so you guys could be seeing a lot of dogs lately. Or a lot of dogs could be barking at you. Or you could be walking outside and a lot of dogs are coming up to you. Or you could be seeing dogs in your dreams. Or like, um... Uh, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, you guys could be feeling that spirit around you. Or you guys could have a dog. But your dog has been extra close to you lately. Um, extra affectionate, okay? Or know someone with a dog that's been extra affectionate lately. This is a sign that everything's gonna be okay, okay? And also, it's preparing you for something. It's trying to get you to pay attention. And it's this death energy that's phasing out, okay? <sighs> yes, but... Uh, yeah, he's like the Grim Reaper, for sure. Definitely have my dog with me all the time. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, he is the Grim Reaper. But, you know, he coming to wax that ass. Take somebody down, okay? Because <laughs> he don't like when you disrespect the living or the dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there he go right there. You see? Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know why you would ever fuck with Anubis. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah. This talks about missed chances. Okay. Um, again, thank you, E. I'm never TD. Mm. Okay, girl, I see you. But yeah, um, this person feels empty inside. Very empty. Because they don't have anything. This person's like an empty shell anyway. Okay. They don't have anything. They don't have anything but the voices in their heads. But their voices in their heads. Look. 
empties echoes. Okay. They don't have nothing but the voices in their heads. Because they, no, they can no longer control this masculine. They can no longer cause havoc in your life. They can no longer do anything. Wow. Hmm. And then also too, this um divine this this divine masculine is missing the feminine, okay, um, heavily because now they're realizing that everything that they were told about you was a lie, and so they realizing that they could have had like something special with you, but they were being controlled by this karmic energy, and unfortunately it was influencing how they looked at you, how they saw you, how they interpreted you, okay. And they were seeing you in this dark energy versus her, okay? And that's the fucked up part about it, honestly. And now they're really missing you because they're rethinking everything, every aspect of your relationship, everything that you've said to them, every past life situation every moment that you guys share together every thought that they that came across their mind while they were with you everything they said to you everything you said to them at the time when, when you guys were in connection um they're rethinking everything now okay so <sighs> let me pull a few more cards and then i'm gonna close this reading out Spirit, please give me an outcome. What's what's going to happen to these people? What's going on with these people? What's going to happen to them? What's the outcome of this reading? You guys are protected heavily, though. You guys are protected heavily. You're going to be fine. But I just, just understand that everything you went through was not in vain, okay? You survived because Spirit said it was not your time. Spirit held you in high regard. Spirit covered you and Spirit protected you for a very good reason your job is not done here it's not done here at all this person could never could never touch you you know why because this is not the person ha this is not the type of person who has real power they have to siphon power from other people they have to get around people who have real power who are really connected who are really favored okay um and you my friends my collective have real power have real favor you know, you have real um, people on your side, you know, in the spirit and in the physical. So they just didn't know who they was fucking with. OK, spirit, show me, show me, what, show me what's going on. I don't want this. Show me what's happening. What's the outcome? Okay. Okay. It's at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So here's the outcome, guys. We got blocked. Okay. So these spiritual attacks are blocked. Okay. From you. They will, you will no longer have to suffer from this in connection with these people anymore. Okay. You are protected, collective, Cote protected and highly favored, okay? This season is over. Season of lack is over. You're a rich girl or a rich guy or you're coming into some sort of wealth. Everything that they try to steal from you is coming back to you tenfold, okay? Also, the spirit is rewarding you for... Um, staying true to yourself, staying true to your nature, not stooping to these people's levels, okay? We also have faith here. Gratitude, E, much appreciated, my love. We have faith here. Spirit is also rewarding you because you kept your faith. You kept your faith and you didn't let up. A lot of you guys had a story like Job, like I said before, um, where in which you never turned your back on spirit. You never, no matter how many attacks were sent your way, you simply prayed about it. You simply covered yourself. You simply asked God to help you, okay? You knew that God had not forsaken you. Then we have Intuitive Kev here. This is his deck. But Intuitive Kev is a very talented um, um, seer. 
so when I see his card comes up just lets me know that it's confirmation at the bottom of the deck we have abandonment okay this karmic has been abandoned this karmic has not only been abandoned by her spiritual team this karmic has been abandoned by her spiritual team by whatever entity she was working with to send dark magic to you because she was working with some dark ass entities to send them your way in the masculine's way to puppet them uh, and puppet you okay but it wasn't successful okay um also um She's being abandoned by her family as well. I'm getting a karmic that doesn't really get along with their family. Like, this person doesn't have a lot of connections in this life, okay? It's like everybody is seeing this person for who they are, every last person. Whatever friends they did have is seeing them for who they are, okay? It's like, it's like, it's like exposing season with this Capricorn moon coming out, okay? Gemini is exposing everything. Capricorn is cutting it at its neck all right so you guys do your cleansing rituals on um on these next two moons coming up um if i was you i would stay indoors stay indoors y'all don't want to be out there like that <laughs> stay indoors okay I, I don't i don't believe in going outside on the moon anyways that's just me though i ain't trying to promote fear but what i'm trying to say is that it's really true. People do be outside doing the worst. You know? So. Pray. <laughs> do your thing. Alright guys. This is what I got for you. For this collective reading. And gratitude for the love. I appreciate you so much and thank you i will be back tomorrow i think or in a few days who knows follow me on youtube like subscribe share everything you need to know about me is in the link in my bio okay uh, i'm a seven time published author and i am also a life coach and psychic medium so i see between here and the other realm so if you're looking to speak to any passed on loved ones hit me up all right uh yeah everything you need to know about me is over there so i love you guys peace thanks for sitting with me love you good night